gentlemen, bring you some TDM on Nuketown. Got a new layout for this, this video. You can see two different perspectives. I thought that was an interesting thing. I saw it on an only use me blade video and I wanted to copy it. So yeah. But today I want to talk about why Modern Warfare 3 sucks. Why it's probably the worst Call of Duty. Now, it has a lot of things right, but the things it has wrong overpowers what makes it good. So let me start off. Maps. Maps are some of the worst I've ever seen. No, I hated Array and Black Ops, but I would rather play Array than half the maps in Modern Warfare 3. They just, they're too busy. Now when I say busy, I mean there's too much stuff in them. There's, like, it doesn't need to be there. There's barrels everywhere, there's garbage flying in the air, there's uh, random barrels, cars, stuff like that. It's just, it, it doesn't make it fun. With too much stuff, there's too many hiding spots, too many campers. I remember they were trying to say that there aren't going to be as many corner campers anymore. Well, pff, bullshit! There are more corner campers than ever, because there's so many corners. There's so many places to hide. You, can, you can't run anywhere without getting shot from a corner. Now, and plus, spawns. Spawns in these maps are dirt awful. I know everyone's probably experienced it where you kill someone, then they kill you. Let's say you they spawn, start running, you spawn right behind them, then you shoot them right in the back. Or vice versa. Sucks vice versa. Suck is spawning, running a foot, getting shot in the back by somebody that just spawned too. That that wrecked it. That makes free for all almost unplayable. Now, the next thing. The support packages. Now, these were a good idea, but the support one is not good. It is too overpowered. Like every game now you get four rolling thunders coming through and four EMPs. The whole second half of the game, you're just some one team's EMP'd. It's basically a race who can call out who can call the EMP in the fastest. That it, EMPs need to either not be in the game or be much harder to get. They're way too easy to get. Now moving to a different topic is lag compensation and guns time to kill. These two kind of correlate together. Lag compensation is I'm sure it would I mean it's bad, but I don't know if it's different than Black Ops. That's the thing. It probably is though, actually, yeah, because think of the time to kill though, is if the shorter the time to kill is, the more lag is going to affect it, because if you can kill somebody really quickly, then that's why everyone seems to die in one shot, or like you get killed in one shot, because lag is so, the time to kill is so small that it seems to be one shot when lag interferes with it, and so the problem with how they could have fixed this is have a better, or have, don't have stopping power on every gun have it so it's a perk again that would have made it a lot better that would mean yeah help put juggernaut back in it too that would be good that way if you get screwed over by connection you at least have some sort of advantage so yeah now the next thing would be is this game was rushed this game was rushed really hard now if you remember back after modern warfare 2 there was a huge conflict between the founders of Infinity Ward and Activision, that West and Zampella versus Activision, the court cases, there are cases there, court cases going on a lot. This game was made in eight months out of the allotted two years that time they took. Half of Infinity Ward left, they had to call in two, three development teams to make this game, which means they don't, there's no mojo, they don't flush, they don't, <laughs> they don't have good chemistry together, these are random people working with other random people, which makes it a random game. And my last thing is Elite. They promised Elite to be so much more, and they it's horseshit. All you get is maps, but the thing is, they included Spec Ops maps and close... Not close you know what I'm talking about. The 2v2s, 3v3s, 1v1s, face-offs. I hate face-offs, but most of my Elite is face-offs because that's apparently what people want. Uh, it's Elite promised way more than it had. Black Ops stat tracking is better than Elite's, and that came free. You didn't even have to go on the internet. It was in-game. So, yeah. I'm sure the game already wrapped up. Uh, that is my opinions on the old matter why this game sucked. So, see you guys later.